Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Writing. It's the 1173rd day since I started doing this. Today's poem is supposed to be about a flower, um, but actually it's about an animal. To explain that a little bit more, I have for ages liked the fossil of what I thought was a sea lily, which waved around in tropical carboniferous seas, and have since discovered it is an animal. So I'm going to show you a picture of this little, show you um, a fossil of this little creature that I found. So I think you can probably see those. And if you want to see some bigger ones, these are the biggest ones I've ever found. So just to explain to you, so this is the stem and this is a section of the stem. And sometimes these fossils are called screw stones. And I think you can see there how the, the spine is, is kept. So I found these fairly near to where I live and they inspired a poem. So this is it. It's supposed to be a flower, but really about an animal, so. Crinoids. I doubt you'd give me thanks if I brought you these as flowers. Ancient sea lilies pressed into mud, hanging metamorphosed in stone. Striated stems, calcite rings found as lifeless things in a stream bed. Yet, in their long ago tropical lives, swaying on currents in shallow seas, myriads of marine animals sifted these seas, offering their delicate branches like feathers in the wind. As I now offer them, to you. And that's what it is. Power about giving someone a very strange bunch of flowers. So I hope you enjoyed it um, and I shall be back again in a few days with another poem um, and I wish you all the best. Until then, um, please take care of yourselves and of others as well as I know you will. Bye bye for now. Bye.